Hey, Sean Jance here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Wednesday, March 9th, and I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the small cap 2000. And I want to start here. I'm going to try and make this super, super quick. There's not a lot to do tomorrow, in my opinion. Should have made a lot of money today on uh, Tuesday, and uh, <clears throat> fan beautiful, beautiful day on Tuesday. Should have made a it's awesome. Okay, so we'll try and make this super quick. Five minutes, okay? So, of course, I always like starting on the four-hour chart. <clears throat> and, of course, we got our beautiful, beautiful sell trigger that I told you was going to happen this week. We barely did not catch very little sell triggers all week last week. I mean, bulls just got after it. And what I, my exact words were, just wait till next week and just sell whatever you need to. If you lost, go get your money back. And, and then some, and I did. And I got a lot back on the ES and the TF, okay? Beautiful, beautiful sell trigger all the way down. Been talking about it for about a week and a half now. And uh, this made a run all the way to Middle Blue Keltner, went through Middle Blue Keltner. And as you can see, we're in a very, very awkward spot right here. We're not necessarily oversold. Oversold means, means we're all the way down here trying to catch a buy trigger. We're not necessarily oversold. And of course, we're not overbought either. Right, so this absolutely has room to run up and it has room to run lower. You need to be aware. Let's write that number down, 1972 to 1970 to the downside. You need to remember that, 1972, 1970 to the downside. If the chart wants to run back up to the upside, that puts us at 1999 uh, to 2001. So we have many, many options for this chart, If it, whatever it wants to do tomorrow. Just know it has a lot of room left to run lower, and of course it has plenty of room to run higher. We just got to make a decision on what it, <clears throat> we'll just have to find out what it wants to do. So as you can see, we're catching beautiful, beautiful lower highs, right? So there's our five-day high. Comes up, lower high trigger. Very, very easy. I caught that trigger right there. Lower high, <clears throat> lower high, lower high. Look how it goes lower, 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 right? Obviously, the bears are in control of this chart for the last day and a half, and I've been killing it. I absolutely love selling, and you should be making a lot of money on these moves here. I set this up beautifully for everybody. Okay, so now when we move over into this chart, okay, we do have some really, really good structure uh, to play off tomorrow. Obviously, here's the simple stuff. I'm not saying this is going to be the best ones, but here's I want to go through this quick. In my opinion, tomorrow, not a lot of money to be made tomorrow. It's not going to be a beautiful chart. You just got to take what the chart gives you. But here's the simple stuff. You got the um, you got the potential as a sell value very high play from value area high and then of course the simple stuff is uh, buy value area low so you got these two of course in the box okay neither one of them are very good uh, it, buy value area low can be a decent one because you look at all this structure to the left that could be a decent one in my opinion I don't love selling that but you could see sell triggers there so this is the easy stuff there okay the easy stuff to watch for. If it doesn't happen, it don't force that, okay? Because in my opinion, those aren't fantastic areas to be sellers, but of course you need to be looking for triggers there. Let's quickly look at if it, if of course too, you need to be looking for 80% uh, rules and then 80% rules as well. So let's quickly show those. 80% rules to the upside if price comes out, goes back up, and then of course 80% rules to the downside price comes up and then comes all the way down so you do have those options as well now I want to talk about some areas on the charts that we talked about from the four hour chart look at this all of this sell trigger right here Monday's POC look at this it held here it held here Tuesday's POC and the plus 0.5 deviation and I just wrote this number down no, I apologize. I did not write this number down. So I didn't write this number down from the four-hour chart. Uh, from the four-hour chart, I wrote this number down. Um, I wrote down 1999 to 2000 all the way up here. But I'm still going to be potentially looking, if this chart does make a run into here again, for ch sell triggers there. And in my opinion, I do think if it gets through plus 0.5 and holds pullback, we're likely going to make a run to that round number, 2,000 round, round number. 2,000 is the round number tomorrow. Okay. Now let's quickly talk about to the downside. This is where I wrote down that number. Here's our line in the sand, which is value area low. 
If it gets through and holds pullback, you obviously have first target there, and then our second target there is on the minus 0.5, which I did write this number down, 1972 to 1970. This is from the support Keltner here. So you can spread that sucker all the way down to that level there. So you have several options tomorrow. I'll be in the room all morning if you have questions. But you, this chart isn't horrible, but it's not the greatest either. Okay, you got to be careful tomorrow because we, we should have made a lot of money here. And Monday and Tuesday were freaking awesome days. Now we're coming into the chart. We're just kind of stuck in the middle. And you could get caught, so just don't get caught tomorrow. Okay, let's quickly look at the TF because there's a little bit of more. There's going to be a little bit of a difference here. We need to talk about it. I caught this chart so good. Oh my goodness, I nailed this chart. I set this up for everybody. Reversal star, reversal star, get after it. I mean, this was just absolutely amazing, and I set this up for everybody. You can go back how I literally predicted this. I predicted this on Friday. How amazing this was right I actually made quite a bit of money on this move down we've made all our way of a move down into the support Keltner which is 1967 to 1965 67 to 65 and of course this chart is getting oversold so we do have potential looking for potential buy triggers to the upside this chart's going to come and look for a potential swoop back up middle blue Keltner puts us at 74 We'll call it 76. If it really gets after it, then we got the 84 to 86 to the upside. So we'll call it 75 to 76. So now when we look at the plot chart, obviously as we speak, um, it's already trying to swoop on us. You can kind of see right here, it's already trying to swoop. Bears, I mean literally bears just tanked this chart going into the close, which was the four hour hammer that I talked about last night. Here was my trade plan last night on slash TF. I said this four hour chart is going, and I made an arrow to the downside. I said this thing's going to put the hammer down. And sure enough, and I nailed this sucker. And look at this chart. I mean, the four hour chart put the hammer down. Look, I mean, it just literally just, w when I, uh, made this trade plan look at this price was right there at 1989 i told you in the plan the four hour chart's going to put the hammer down right and then when i go to the chart we were at 1989 we finish all the way down at 1967 it put the hammer down it's very very simple please make sure you're watching these this is a lot of money to be made i made about three hundred dollars easy that's three months worth of of btg just on that one trade plan right there and you should, could have made way more as well 300 is pretty low so you could have made way more so please make sure you're watching these i'm ac very very extremely accurate should be making money no no problem okay now bad news this chart is very very ugly in my opinion very very ugly I don't necessarily have a plan for this chart ES is probably the best one but of course you got sell triggers at plus 0.5 which I did write this number down right I wrote this number down I wrote down 75 to 76 so you got triggers at the plus 0.5 if it gets through you're likely to maybe keep on running all the way up into Monday's POC so you got targets to the upside and then back down to the downside in my opinion, uh, you can look for set holding and you can look at value low holding uh, for support, right? So you can look for value low holding as support. And based off of the four hour chart, if we continue to go lower, I got nothing for you if we continue to go lower yet, okay? So comment if you have any questions. Um, should have made a lot of money the last two days. So now we go into Wednesday, and we just don't lose our gains. Just don't lose your gains on Wednesday. Don't be stupid and silly. Should have made plenty. Do not lose your gains on Wednesday. Let's take what we can get. If we see a beautiful trigger around a plot, let's take it. But if you don't see anything, don't lose your gains. So comment if you have any questions, and please make sure you're recording everything you do and sending it to me so that I can help you.